All right, guys. Good morning. Good morning. What's up, YouTube, Facebook, Courtney, Scobie, and also we got a ride along from Dallas, Texas, Mr. Sean. So today, guys, it's October the 9th. We're on our first and only job of the day. I came out here about three weeks ago. Um, this is a client that found us from our videos, uh, came out here, gave her an estimate and also a demo. Uh, what we're going to be doing here is a wax removal slash screen and recoat. This is a solid hardwood floor again anytime you have a solid hardwood floor and there's wax on the floors we will have to follow up with the screen and recoat to reprotect the floors all right these floors right here guys has a lot of wax on them um, the client knew something was wrong because if you look closely you can see a lot of surface marks a lot of scratches and this is all in that wax okay so what we're going to do today is remove the wax um, this is uh, 1014 square feet wax removal again it's two dollars a square foot we usually do screen and recoats for a dollar and fifty cents a square foot but since we're already on site we give the customer a price break and we do it for a dollar square foot so this is a three dollar square foot process so you see right here guys you see all those those surface marks all right there that's what frustrates people because they see these marks in the floors and they don't know what's going on with the floors. They find our videos and we're here to save the day. So that's what we're gonna start doing. Also, they did a great job cleaning all the furniture out. You can see all this wax on the floors right here. All right here, going into the bathroom. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, we're gonna get these floors back looking good. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we are doing the wax removal process. I got Scobie over here. He's breaking down the wax with the 175. Sean is over here on the culture. And look at the floors, guys. Look at this. Such a big difference already. all this wax right here all wax guys give you a little um you can see where the wax is coming off right here so that's wax still on the floor see that line right there that's still wax on the floors so you can see the wax is coming off really really good this job is going out really really well so we're about to hit this bathroom area right here going into this small hallway you can see we've already emulsified the wax so we're gonna go ahead and get that agitated already got it up over here and this is why this is why guys I always started doing a screen and recoat when we do solid hardwood floor. Remember, this is a solid hardwood floor, so it can be sanded. You look over here, you see this discoloration, okay? You see over here, see all that discoloration? You see this worn area back here, okay? Before, years ago, I, I, I would just remove the wax, and then people would see the floors, and the wax would be gone, but then they'll see certain areas, and trust me, guys, I've seen way worse than this. When you remove that wax, you then see what your hardwood floors really look like, and people were starting to blame me for it, like, oh, you messed up my floors. Like, no, that's how your floors look when we remove that wax, okay? So now, this is why we always do a screen and recoat 
after the wax removal for solid hardwood floors because of issues just like this. So to be honest, guys, this floor really doesn't have a lot of bad under damage to the floor once we remove the wax, as you can see. Uh, ask Scobie, this is really not that bad, the, 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 some of the wear areas. No, not at all. We've seen a lot worse. <laughs> a lot worse. Yeah. A lot worse. But this is why we always follow up with a spring and recoat. So to get these, because really, guys, these floors have no protection on them. So now we're just, we're now just with the, the, the bare wood, and especially in this area right here, which seems to be a high traffic area. That's why it's worn off. And this is another reason why a lot of people start to put that wax stuff on the floors because they start to see the floors dull out. And really what, is, what the floors is telling you is it's time for me to be screened and recoded. But people get these store-bought products and they put them on the floor and that wax product soaks into the grain on the floor and they just do it years and months and years, guys. So, but overall, this job is coming out really, really, really well. So we're gonna go ahead and finish up. Then we'll bring in our square scrub. Mr. Sean is doing very well. And uh, yeah, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, time to start doing some screening. Um, we got these floors again, wax free. Customer is very, very, very um, happy with what, we, what we've done already, okay? And I, I will say, guys, these floors look pretty, pretty good uh, for them to never be serviced, um, you know, Look at this right here. I mean, these floors really look good, guys. So, um, like I said, we really don't know until we get into the floor, but on this one, really no under damage, just some missing uh, stain and poly right here, right here. Now you can really see it that it's dry. Here, here. So we're gonna correct all this right here. Uh, we got some right here, a little bit right here, but all that's gonna be corrected when we start applying the, uh, applying the poly. All right, guys, stay tuned. Now, thanks, go. you want to take that poly on the bay in that back room? Yeah. So we got to start putting the poly back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, guys, time to add, drop the poly. And you can see already how much better these floors are looking. You can see we also added some tint to the poly, add some more richness, some more color to the floors. And that's looking so, so good, guys, so good. Look at that. Look at that, that's such a big difference. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, we are laying the second coat of poly, as you can see. All right. <laughs> and uh, uh, guys, I must say the client is very, very happy with the outcome. We did some color correction over here in this area right here, me and Sean. And uh, yeah, man, we are very, very happy with this uh, job. what do you think, Sean? Great. Yes, sir. Scope is doing some rolling. I'm going to work this stuff back out. And uh, that's going to do it, guys. So uh, thank you again for watching. Courtney, Scobie, and also our special guest right along of the day, Mr. Sean from Dallas, Texas. These guys will be adding this service on to their business model. And um, continue to do what we do, helping cleaners be their best. Nice, nice, nice. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.